times are tough, you guys. I don't know about you, but every time I go to Walmart, I just about shed tears because it gets more and more expensive every week. <laughs> right now, it's really hard to be watching it beauty YouTube because the Sephora Beauty Insider event is happening where you can save 30% off of Sephora brand products. You can save 20% if you're Rouge, 15% if you're VIB, and 10% for all Beauty Insiders. It's really, really hard to consume all of that content and not want something. So I'm kind of here to embrace the fact that I don't have the money to go shopping and I really honestly don't need any of these things, but I kind of wanted to show off my Sephora wish list to you. So we're going to browse through my loves and I'm going to pop pictures up of everything that I have on my wish list and maybe it will inspire you. I know when I watch these kinds of videos, it's really fun to see products that I've never heard of before and I usually always add it to my loves list. So as we're going through this loves list, I may be taking some things off because maybe I can like talk myself out of some of these things. The first thing that we are going to talk about is this Westman Atelier Mini Petite Face Trace Cream Contour Stick. I added this because I love the fact that anytime a prestige or high-end brand offers a product in a mini, especially something like a cream, uh, you don't need a whole lot of it and a little bit will last you a really long time. So Westman Atelier is a very, very pricey brand, very bougie, luxy brand. And for $26 to be able to try a product from them, I thought that that might be kind of fun. I think I'm going to keep that one in my loves list because maybe one day I will get that. Next, I have this Refi Lip Sculpt lip liner and setter in the shade Rosewood. And I also have another shade um, that I will pop up here as well. This is a very interesting um, combo of things where it is a lip liner and a gloss kind of at the other end. I love the compactness of that and I thought that that would be kind of fun. And I've never tried anything from Refi. So this shade uh, Rosewood is a, a medium warm pink. And that's a really great go-to for any time uh, and uh, lots of different kinds of looks that I do, which are usually warm. So I think I'm going to keep that one, you know, on my loves list just for future reference. Next, I have the Sephora Clean Me Up Kit. This kit is pretty cool and I just added this to my loves list based off of recommendation from Morgan Turner and a short that she did. She has lots of really good Sephora content, so you should go check her out. I'll link her below. Um, this kit is only $35 and she pointed out the fact that you get three full-size products in there from Tower 28, a mascara that I actually have mentioned later down. It actually has the Tower 28 mascara, it has a Say Blush, it has a Lawless Forget the Filler lipstick or lip plumping, you know, lip gloss thing and I'm, I've always wanted to try those. It also has a Mika. Uh, overnight hydration mask for your hair. Uh, that would be kind of fun. And then and it has a Colfi uh, Clean Waterproof um, Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Cheeky Chiku, something like that. So for $35, you get three full-size products. That's pretty good. So I'm going to leave that in there, but likely that would get sold out. That, that, those kinds of things from Sephora's favorites don't stay around for very long. But, you know, Mother's Day is coming up, so maybe I'll get that. Next, I have so the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Liquid Foundation. This shade that I have is 10N for light skin with neutral undertones. I love the fact that it's a moderately affordable product for, you know, Sephora brand and for Sephora products. It's $20. And so I would love to try that one day. I really, really, really do want to get that one day. So we'll keep it on the loves list. The Sephora Favorites Sun Safety Kit is something that I just tossed in my cart today. It's $39 and the value that you get in this 
is $178 value. That's what it says. Now, I can't speak to whether or not that's a real value of $178. I'm not sure. It does say that you get a full size of the Inky List Polyglutamic Acid Dewy Sunscreen and a full size of the K-Skin um, Lip Balm SPF. That's pretty cool. You get a smaller of the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hydrating Moisturizer. St. Jane Luxury Sun Ritual Pore Smoother and a, like a whole bunch of other little mini things. That It's so many that I wouldn't even want to like list all of them. But a lot of really different types of sunscreens and sun protection and uh, skin prep and things like that, which would be pretty cool. So I'm gonna keep that in there. $39 to be able to try out at least 10 brands. I really like the idea of that. Next I have the Huda Easy Bake and Snatch Pressed Powder in the shade Peach Pie which says that it's for medium to deep skin tones with warm undertones, golden undertones, white peach undertones, disguised under eye darkness. Now as you can tell I have a lot of under eye darkness and I, I work really well with an orange like color corrector so I'm really interested in trying this peach pie, even though it's meant for darker under um, darker skin, I'm wondering if it will actually work really nicely under my dark under eyes. So I'm going to keep that. I definitely think it'd be cool if I could test that out before I buy it because it's $38 and it's a powder that's going to last a really long time. So fingers crossed. Uh, now this is the best perfume that I love so much and one day I'm going to get the really really full size which I also have on my list but for now realistically I really want to get the Juliet has a gun not a perfume in the travel spray kind it's 0.25 ounces for $34 which you know is probably not like a great deal but perfume especially that one it's really strong and you don't need but like two spritzes so I really feel like that is a good um, value for me and I wouldn't wear it all the time because I love it so much I would use it like once or twice a week just to make sure that it went really really nicely so also from Westman Atelier I have the mini petite baby cheeks lip and cheek cream blush stick in the shade petal which is a dusty nude rose I think that I'm gonna keep this in the cart or keep this on the loves list as well because uh, I do love blush. I love me some blush and I feel like again being able to try a mini of something instead of getting like a full size stick um, like this it will not go bad because I'll be able to use it up a lot faster because it's smaller. So we're going to leave that in the cart. I have a feeling this year I'm going to be decluttering some of my blushes so gotta replace them. Now one thing that I know that I know that I know that at some point this year I will buy this is the Huda Pretty Grunge eyeshadow palette. While I'm mostly a warm tone person, I love the cool tones that were selected for this palette. I love how there are splashes of warmer tones and I feel like the coolness of this also leans a little purple which I think would really complement my green eyes. So this is definitely going to happen at some point this year, but at $69, I am going to wait. I have purchased some of Huda's palettes from Sephora at like half off last year. So I'm really hoping that later on this year, that one will go half off. So I'm going to like hedge my bets and hope for the best on that one. Recently, I've seen the House Labs PhD Hybrid Lip Glazing Plumping Gloss. I So I added the shade Macaron, which is a cool pink. I'm not sure about that. I think I might go ahead and take that one off. I think I heard it's, it's a really good lip gloss, but it's $26 for a lip gloss. And I really don't know that cool pink is the right shade for me, but I'm going to go ahead and take that one off. I really would like to try this from Lawless. It's the Hold Up Soft Set Creamy Eyebrow Wax. I have in my loves list the medium to dark um, shade. I have heard good things about this and I'm hoping that it's something that will sort of fill in color 
and also set my brows. And at $21, it's not too bad of a of a deal, so I think I would I will keep that. I have this concealer from Hourglass and it's the mini Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. Now, I already own this concealer right here, but I accidentally bought the lightest shade that they own, which is way too light and for somebody with dark dark circles it's not good to have extra like lightness there so I do like this concealer but I need a different shade so I highly I highly suspect that I will end up getting this later on this year I now have in my loves list the shade cedar which is 3.5 it says light peach undertones so again I'm hoping that the peachiness of that will kind of act also as a color corrector step for me. Um, I find that that uh, concealer is very uh, full coverage, which I'm trying to go for, uh, and it is mattifying. So it doesn't offer a lot of um, like uh, hydration in that area, and I don't need a lot of hydration under my eyes. I find that if it's too hydrating and glowy under there, it really accentuates the things that I'm com trying to combat. <laughs> okay, now while I am not normally an eyeshadow stick person, I have so many things from Rare Beauty and I, I would love to own just about everything from this whole line. I do have the All of the Above Weightless Eyeshadow Stick in the shade Contentment in my loves list and this is a rose taupe color. I think it looks like a really great one and done shadow and it's $22 which isn't too bad and and shadow sticks last a really long time so I definitely want to add that. I do have something in my cart that I'm going to take out. It's the wrong shade of the Sephora uh, foundation that I just talked about. This one says light skin with pink undertones. I'm, I'm neutral so I'm going to take that out. I also have and I really do think that I will buy this at some point this year the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Volumizing and Lengthening Tubing Mascara. I love to use tubing mascara on my under eyes because I have um, a really big problem with mascaras flaking and smudging on me. So tubing mascaras are really helpful for that. So I've heard really, really great things about that one and I'm really hoping that later on this year that will be number three of a high, high probability that I will get that one. I'm also interested in trying the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. I added the light medium neutral shade. That one's $29, so I'm, I would definitely want to do a little bit more research to make sure that that's right for me. Fits the bill for what I need. I have a couple mascaras next. Again, from Rare Beauty. I love, you know, minis. That is always a great chance to be able to try a product without committing to full price and full, you know, amount of product. So I have the Mini Perfect Strokes Vo uh, Universal Volumizing Mascara. I would love to try that. Always looking for a really good mascara. The Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara really really excited to try that i have heard wonderful wonderful things about that mascara i have this tower 28 swipe all over hydrating serum concealer i added the shade five light with neutral undertones I, again i'm going to need to make sure and do some research to decide is this a light coverage concealer and if it is i i would take that off because i don't I don't want to have that. But I really do like to watch uh, reviews on YouTube from people that I really trust on things like that because sometimes the description that they put on there isn't really super accurate. So I like to watch a variety of reviews to allow me to make informed purchasing decisions. Okay, I have another perfume from Ellis Brooklyn. It's the Super Amber, um, again, travel spray. I love this perfume. It's very warm and cozy and comforting. So I would really love to have that as well. Rare Beauty, uh, this is the brow, um, it's the brow laminating gel. 
I would like to try that. It's only $17 and that's really, really not bad. The Rare Beauty line is pretty affordable for all intents and purposes. I have in here this Rare Rare Beauty Kind Words Lip Liner in the shade Humble, but I already have a mini of that. So I'm taking this off because I don't need a full size. I have the Lawless Skin Smoothing Talc Free Perfecting Powder in the shade Light. I like the fact that this is a pressed powder because I really find loose powders to be kind of annoying. So I, I will leave that in there, but I don't know if I would ever buy it. We'll see. Uh, next, I have the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop, Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in the shade Barely Blushing, which is a natural flush. I think I'm going to go ahead and remove this because it's $30, but also I've heard a couple people that I trust give a review that it's not their favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. Of course, that Juliet has again, not a perfume. I have the full size of that in there at $150. It's probably never going to happen, <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it there because I do love it so much. Okay, next I have the Tower 28 Make Waves uh, Volumizing Mascara, and it's lengthening too. It's only $20, so I really think that one day I might try that as well. I've heard great things about it, and I like to try mascaras. Next I have another blush, the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Powder Blush in the shade Mellow Mauve, which is a delicate pink. Uh, this is $28, and... Because this is a powder blush, I will leave this in my cart and check it out and make sure that it had good reviews and good staying power and stuff like that. Powders don't go bad as quickly as creams, so there's definitely uh, some value in keeping a powder over a cream thing. Uh, next from Rare Beauty is the Warm Wishes Effortless, Effortless Bronzer Stick. And I had in here the shade Happy Soul, which says light brown with cool undertones. I would probably, I guess maybe kind of use that as a uh, kind of a contourish kind of situation, but we'll see if, if I end up getting that. I just, again, I love the Rare Beauty line. I love the vibe and the aesthetics of it. So I add a lot of Rare Beauty things. There's even more coming down, <laughs> down the way. Now, again, I don't know if I'm ever going to get this. But if I had all the money in the world, I would. It's so good. I'm telling you that the hype on this Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream a moisturizer is real. I got a small thing of this for like the birthday gift from Sephora last year and or maybe a year, two years ago. I don't know. It's so good. My skin immediately looked different and the next day it still like just was glowy and soft and plump and all of the things that you want for your skin to be but at $72 my goodness it's a lot but it's also a really great experience too it smells wonderful every time I would put it on I would just smell my hands for a little while so that's a really really big desire in my heart to own a full size of that so it's staying on even though I don't know that I ever will buy it we'll see I have had this NARS sheer glow foundation on my list for a while and I think one day I might get it if I want to I want to really um splurge on myself I, I have the shade Gobi which is light with neutral undertones it's just so expensive I know that it's a very good foundation and I think that um, it will offer the right amount of you know glowiness without being over the top so I want to try that one day but and it's out of stock right now so that's a good thing I also for from the Sephora collection have the best skin ever full coverage uh, hydrating concealer that's very intriguing to me that it's full coverage and hydrating um, I put in here the shade 15.5 in light skin with neutral undertones it's only $15 which really is kind of competing with some drugstore pricing right there that would definitely be something I would love to own one day from rare beauty I have two more things well I mean there's probably more but on the screen there's two 
I have the Kind Words Matte Lipstick in the shade Lively, which is a rose pink color. I have just finished their shade Humble in a mini, and I loved it so much. I love, even though it's matte, it's very comforting and smoothing on the lips, so I definitely want to be able to try other colors of that. So I will probably get that one day. And I also have the concealer brush, which looks very intriguing. It kind of mimics the shape of your finger um, where it's sort of angled a little bit instead of like this one I have from the Sephora collection that's like rounded. This one is more like that kind of. So I don't know. I've heard good things about that particular brush and we'll see what happens. Maybe one day I'll get it. Okay, I feel like I'm almost done. Yes, we have one, two, three, four, five, five more. Okay, next I have the Ola Hendrickson Bright, Banana Bright Vitamin C Brightening Eye Cream. Again, because I'm trying to do everything I can to help this business. So uh, I kind of forgot that was in there and I will probably get that one day just to try it out. It is $44 for an eye cream, but eye creams last a really long time. So it's kind of what I tell myself. I also have in here the Peter Thomas Roth Potency Vitamin C Power Eye Cream. That one's $68. I think I'm going to go ahead and take that off. There's no way I'm paying $68 for eye cream. No. Oh, I just took both of them off. Okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, let me know if you've been watching so far uh, into this video. Let me know, have you ever tried the Vegamore Grow Hair Serum? I have been having, you know, I'm in my 40s now, but for a long time, this little area right here is losing the hair and it's really thin around the edges. So I've been interested in trying this product to see if it will help sort of rejuvenate the hair growth and the thickness of my hair around here. It's $64, so definitely want to make sure that I got some trusted reviews um, on that. We'll see. And the very last thing that I have on my Sephora wish list is the Makeup by Mario Eyeliner Pencil in the shade The Perfect Brown. Jessica Braun raves about this. She loves this eye, eye liner. And I do prefer a brown eyeliner over a black one because I feel like it is easier for me to use and um, it's a little more forgiving than a black eyeliner. I'm not very good at eyeliner. So I've had that in my cart, um, in my, you know, loves list or whatever for a long time. I need to just get it already, but that is often out of stock. So that's part of the reason why I've never gotten it because, um, when I feel like I want to buy it, then it's out of stock. So that is everything on my Sephora wish list. If I had all the money in the world and I could check out, I know that that stuff would be pretty close to $1,000 because ha about half of it was in my cart um, and it was over $400. So, you know, if I had all the money in the world, those would be the things that I would buy. But I'm, real, I'm a real girl and those are the things that I long for and some of them will end up here in my makeup stand and some of them are, are definitely destined to stay on the wish list. Let me know in the comments what are the things that you want the most from Sephora. If money were no object, what would you buy? I'll see you later in another video. Bye!